Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today I have a short five minute video for you on bearing off carefully. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends to help me promote my videos further. Let's begin. Now here we have a money game. Notice that green has one checker on the bar, white has already taken off three checkers, cube is turned. Now, how would you play these roles for white? 5-1, 4-1, 3-1 and 2-1. So four different roles there. How would you play them? Feel free to pause the video here and have a moment to think about it. And in a moment, we will just look at the answers together. Okay, so let's start with 5-1. Now, the 5-1 play is pretty clear. You must here clear the 5 point, and anything else would be a blunder, as we see in red. Now, the 5 point is correct, clearing the 5 point, because you only leave 9 potential shots next roll. Of course, green could dance. Green is not the favourite to enter on a five-point board. He only enters 11 rolls out of 36. So here we need to be careful. We do not get ourselves into a situation where we leave more rolls in the future. So clearing the five-point leaves nine potential shots, but clearing the six-point would leave 17 potential shots, almost twice as many shots, which is why it is a blunder. So here we need to be very careful. We do not leave more shots in the future, particularly against Green's closed home board. So simply here, we make the safest play by clearing the five point. Now, by playing 4-1, we clear the four point, which again is a clear play. Anything else would be an error or a blunder. By clearing the four point, we only leave two potential shots with 6-2. Clearing the five point leaves seven potential shots and clearing the six point leaves 13. So again, we make the safest play, which leads to fewer bad rolls in the future if green keeps on dancing. So this is correct, clearing the four point. Now, what about three one? Now, three one, it is correct to clear the six point, but you can see that the moves are quite close on the left. Now, by clearing the six point, we leave nine potential shots next roll. Clearing the five point leaves seven shots. Clearing the four point leaves two. And clearing the three point also leaves two. So, why here are we making the play which leaves more shots? Well, this is for two reasons. Well, the first thing is that by clearing the six point, what we're hoping for is for green to roll a six and to enter into a losing race. So, Green is already 36 pips down in the race. So we want Green to enter a losing race and then with us to bear off with safety and no awkwardness in the future. Of course, Green enters. It's extremely unlikely that Green is going to win unless he rolls a miraculous sequence of doubles. Now, a second reason why we clear the six point is because of long term safety. We do not really like to have gaps in our home board because that can be awkward and lead to future shot leaving. So here we simply make this play now to lead to fewer bad rolls in the future because of course, as I mentioned, green is not a favourite to enter and could stick around on the bar for a while and become somewhat of a nuisance. So we need to not only think of this role, but roles in the future. Now, in terms of long-term safety, we know this is true because if we put two green checkers on the bar instead of one, then clearing the six point would become right by a larger margin and anything else then would become an error. And that's because, of course, if green had two checkers on the bar, he has better timing, he's going to stay around for longer, and we really need to be careful as white about not leaving awkwardness in the future. And playing 2-1, well, here the play is obvious. We clear the six point, only leaving two shots with 6-5, and anything else would leave more shots or 
have gaps in the boards which we don't like for the reasons aforementioned. So there we are, just some tips to finish off. So consider how many bad rolls you're leaving if your opponent dances. Of course, he dances 25 times out of 36 on a five point board. Also consider long term safety and subsequent rolls if your opponent keeps dancing, such as with that three one we discussed earlier. And consider how many checkers your opponent has on the bar. So thank you for watching five minutes, a quick blast of knowledge. I put my email there on the bottom if you would like lessons or if you want to contact me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.